welcome to blueprint iot and in this video we're going to take a look how to do this how to etch a circuit board first of all we need to print the actual film we need to produce our pcb but if you want to know more about this check out our video about how to make a pcb film anyway that's how the end result should look like and that's what we're going to use to do the exposure for exposure we're going to use a circuit board raw material which is already coated in a photosensitive film which is also the reason why it's covered in this black and blue light tight material to protect it from UV light during transport or storage. As soon as this protective layer is detached every single bit of light is going to depreciate the photosensitive coating on the circuit board. And don't get it wrong. Aligning the circuit board on the film can take everything from 30 seconds up to 2 minutes. Even though it's super important to align the circuit board perfectly, you shouldn't waste time, because every single second you're exposed to the light, the photosensitive film will depreciate. So close the machine and set the timer. Of course the settings depend heavily on your device and your raw material. After exposure it's time for development. To do this we slide the PCB into the development liquid and we do this quite smoothly to make sure to not splash the chemicals all around the place. In case you wonder what kind of chemicals are involved here, make sure to check out our video about chemicals to edge circuit boards. What's basically happening here is that the photosensitive coating which was exposed to the UV light before is already destructed. So the development liquid is now dissolving all the destroyed photosensitive coating. So the coating which was protected from the UV light by the film itself will survive this process very well. This process can take a couple of minutes, but if you watch closely you can slightly see the circuits already now. Anyway. Let's speed up the process and take a look. You can see the circuits itself and as soon as you apply some movement of the liquid on the circuit board you can see the destroyed coating like smoke in the water. By repeating this process over and over again we can make sure to get rid of all the coating. It's super important to clean your PCB properly because otherwise these particles of coating will protect the copper underneath later on spots you don't want to be protected on spots where you want the copper to be removed. So after producing our film, doing exposure and development, it's time for the actual etching. To do this, we're going to transfer our PCB into a cuvette, which is basically a container for chemics. Inside the cuvette, we have a heating element, which will heat up the liquid to around 45 degrees Celsius. And we have a membrane to create small air bubbles which will move around all the liquid and distribute the heat smoothly as well as distribute the chemics inside the liquid very smoothly around all the PCB inside the liquid. The process itself can also work without the air bubbles which will make it more easy for you to see what's happening even though the process will take a bit longer. The lighter color of the copper is already indicating that the copper is being removed by the etching liquid and the little dust you can see above the circuit board is indicating that the copper is being removed layer by layer, piece by piece. And while this is happening you can see that the liquid is getting more and more cloudy. And that's where the air bubbles get involved and distribute all this high and low concentration of copper in the liquid very evenly. But before we're getting involved with the air bubbles too much, we're going to take a look on the process without the air bubbles which will show us super nicely how the blue resolved copper will build up from the bottom up. So we've seen that the copper is not being dissolved area at the same time, it's more like a smooth and spreading process. 
and we can see that the etching liquid is getting aqua cyan and la later on blue until dark blue while etching. As soon as it's dark blue it's time to change the etching liquid. After cleaning the circuit board with alcohol to remove the remaining photosensitive coating on the circuit itself, it's time for drilling. To do this it can help to mark all the holes on your layout in a certain color code to drill all the holes in the right diameter. So that's basically how to etch and produce a circuit board. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're interested in more check out our other videos about PCBs and if you want to see the industrial process check out the video from Stranger Things about a factory in China.